is uh, in a prototype version here at the show. Uh, but we plan to make that available for our customers. What is this all about? We talked about lean manufacturing and we talked about helping our customers getting better and, and uh, achieving higher performance. This has to do with productivity benchmarking. You need to know where you stand in terms of productivity. We have very powerful tools for analyzing your productivity and measuring productivity as part of our Brinec workflow. So now as the, the latest and greatest, we have a hybrid app here. So imagine you're a French shop owner and uh, Actually, you're standing in your favorite pub, it's Friday evening, and you're running a three-shift operation, and uh, you have your beer in your hand, and you want to know if the XL105 is actually running. So you see the Heidelberg app here, you push the button, you get uh, actually uh, a list of certain things you can do, and let's check the, the machine report here. Yeah, there's this brand new XR105 10P over there actually. This is uh, real time, hooked up. And here you get a machine report showing you the actual print shop. And I hope there is a print shop running. Now it says in the cleaning mode, uh, actually it's uh, washing up right now. And the machine is turning at 1400 impressions an hour. Seems to be true. <laughs> So if you're a print shop owner in, in your pub Friday night, you actually have the transparency and you can find out what's going on in your print shop. And uh, I think this is one example of how we intend to use the internet in the future <laughs> to support all the services we offer in Heidelberg. And uh, Net Profiler, which was mentioned before uh, by George Clark, Net Profiler actually is another a little application which runs on a Brinect online portal which allows you to remotely uh, calibrate your image control system, quality control and uh, calibrate your image control uh, system and uh, this is a software as a service application, cloud computing. This is the direction we, we will take and uh, those are the first two examples we want to show you here at iPad.